today I'm going to show you how to paint a robin using just two colours. I'm using translucent orange and mauve, both made by um, Aquarelle Schminky Make. Now, I've sketched it out already, and all I'm going to do is paint clean water all over the little robin. Actually, I'm going to leave the eye out, so let's get cracking. I've got a fairly small brush, although it is a sable because it holds so much more fluid, and I want to make sure I get the entire area wet before I put any pigment on, as I say, other than the eye. I want to keep the eye as um, soft as possible to start with, and then I'm going to make it very, very dark. Right, just duck down a little bit. Have I got all of that nice and wet? Yep. Right, straight into a mix. I've mixed both the mauve and the orange together and I've got a real strong dark but I've then taken a brush full of that and added quite a lot of water. Now when you mix purple and mauve, which probably you know through causing uh, having little accidents, you get a gorgeous sort of muddy brown. Well I want some muddy brown to suggest some of the lighter feathers at the bottom of the robin. So tickling some pigment into that bottom area of the robin maybe around there. If you use the edge of your brush, just the real tip of the brush, you can get some feather-like effect. And I will go over his wing and into the tail, but just a tiny little bit. And some right on the top of his head. And clean my brush. Take off a lot of the moisture, and I'm going straight into a very diluted mix of the translucent orange. Which I might go just a tiny bit thicker having said that. The robin's breast is really bright and cheerful, so let's get that in straight away. Again, using the tip of your brush, you can suggest some feathers. And their, their breast feathers are sort of in two, two sections, so you've got to make sure that you get that area in. And it also doesn't matter if you go over the beak, because the beak will be a lot darker at the end, and it goes... The orange goes right over the top of the head. He's got a little brow, picking up a little bit more, beginning to run out. Around the eye, so try and keep that dry at the moment. Brush that down. If you get some dry brush marks, all the better. So it helps give that lovely feather effect. And just move them around a little bit with your brush. You can very quickly get a, a very interesting feather mark, suggesting some of the orange into the wing and the tail. Clean my brush, take off as much moisture as possible, and then going into my mix of both the colours, the mauve and the translucent orange. I'm taking off as much as I've put on because I want to be able to control this as much as I possibly can. So I've got the start, I've got the base of my robin. Now I need to go back to the top of its head and just with the tip of my brush, I'm literally sort of feathering in, literally <laughs> feathering in some darker marks. I want to suggest where the wing's going to be, so I'm doing a big brush mark there. I've got some dry brush marks there. I'll utilise those, make use of them. Giving some structure to his tail. Touch of colour in the the wing that's folded here. Clean my brush because I want to have a little more control now. And encourage these pigments around a little bit more. Picking up just a little bit more of the dark colour. And I'm going to paint around his eye. Makes the eye stand out even more. And down. And finally, I need to do the eye itself. This takes a steady hand. And what's really, really useful to do is to try and leave a tiny little white dot in the middle if you can. So pop some pigment in there. If it does bleed a little bit into the other colours, it doesn't matter too much because you've got a wet and wet robin going on anyway. And a quick brush mark for the beak. And Bob's your uncle. There's your gorgeous little Christmas robin. Which you can continue fiddling with to your heart's content. To do the legs, 
All you need to do is have a tiny little bit of the brown on and a very quick mark. Try and suggest some feathers around the tops of the legs. And uh, their little feet have got little claws on them, so it's interesting to pop that in as well if you can. Tiny little bit. And a sweep across the bottom. All I've done is added water to that brush that had the brown in. A sweep across the bottom. And there it is. Standing on the ground about to find a worm. That's my little robin using just two colours. I hope you've had some fun like I have. See you soon. <laughs>